What's up guys, welcome back. In the last video I did on this Roman 30cc gas Baja, I did hit 38 miles per hour, which is a pretty good top speed for a stock clone Baja RC, but I have been looking for a way to get more miles. Now, there are many ways. Obviously, you could make your car faster, you could put on larger tires, you could run a higher octane fuel, you could uh, lean this thing out to the max, you can get a higher gearing ratio, which I will be doing soon, but right now, we are still stuck on this RC, and the method I came up with is basically monitoring my RPM as I lean out the high-speed needle valve. I will be using this digital tachometer gauge I purchased on Amazon. It was only about $20. It's already installed on the car right now. In a little bit, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna look at the actual recordings of the lifetime runs as my GoPro here records the actual RPM and the max RPM per run along with the top speed on the dynamite speed meter. So yes, you could say this is gonna be a fun, fact-filled informational video. This is the kind of stuff I like doing. I don't wanna just lean out the high-speed needle valve and say here it looks faster we are in fact going to be trying to get more than 38 miles per hour by safely leaning out this RC now yes there are multiple ways that you can audibly listen to if your engine runs well or not but I am not going to be doing that because that is a very subjective method uh, and there's a lot of variables involved in that in fact for hundred percent the most directly correlated variable here to speed is your rpm so the more rpm you get out of your engine yes you will get more speed now a lot of things i read online do assume that engines are running at 19,000 rpm for pretty high-end performance of motors i don't think i will get 19,000 rpm out of this but if i hit about 17 and a half thousand i'll be very happy for what this is but I don't think there's really any information out there on how high of an RPM uh, these engines even get to without blowing up. This tachometer is a very simple install. There are some other models that use a two wire design. This particular one states it uses one wire. All you do is mount it anywhere on the car with the included Velcro strips. I already have it mounted right over here. Let me show you guys. This is the way it's currently mounted on the car. It is always displaying the engine hours. So currently I have 0.4 engine hours. Uh, it's always displaying that, it never goes away. This thing does track your lifetime engine hour use, which is a pretty useful informational factor. You can see there's just a single wire coming right here and it is tightly wrapped about five to six times around this uh, spark plug wire. If you mess this up, you won't be getting a clean signal. So really important, there's no loose uh, kind of wiring going around here. It's not more than five to six times. What's great about this tachometer is it is in fact compatible with many types of engines. Uh, whether you're running a two cylinder, a two stroke, a four stroke, this one in particular, as we all know, is a single cylinder with a two stroke. It is already set to the firing pattern of this exact engine it says that actually comes default so it says 1p 1r what that means is one spark per revolution now that in fact is how it measures the amount of rpm so every time the actual coil fires and the spark plug ignites uh, you will have one rpm so one spark per revolution is the setting we're using right now and that is in fact going to give us an accurate reading as I do the run, keep an eye on the way this thing idles. Now, these things come with an 8,000 RPM clutch. What that means is at about 8,000, um, the clutch will expand and engage. So that is a good way to track whether your actual tachometer is accurately set. So therefore, your idle should be somewhere about half of that. And what's important is the top RPM that we're going to be getting. I will be doing a little bit of editing because, yes, this thing is a little bit shaky as it goes along. But... Keep in mind, this thing will record the max RPM and hopefully we can hit about 17,000 or more.
Okay guys, I am back home now and you saw the results. So basically I got about 250 RPM and one mile per hour increase from a one fifth turn of the high speed needle valve. Now, just so you know, my starting point was already about a quarter of a turn richer than the factory needle settings. So I am still running a little bit richer than factory settings. So you know what? I only got one mile per hour, but that is not a bad conclusion. So we do in fact know that about 250 RPM of this particular motor results in a one mile per hour increase. Now, these results are not linear. I don't mean to say that an extra 250 RPM will almost always result in one mile per hour because you know the speed gauge I'm using, uh, pretty much the smallest increment is one mile per hour. So if I was getting about 1.3 or 1.7, you know, I'm not sure whether it's rounding up or rounding down, but RPM and speed are directly correlated when you have a fixed gear ratio, which this particular RC does. So next time I will try to lean this thing out a little bit more. We'll see if I can get 40 and maybe it is actually a linear relationship. Hopefully it will be just that easy. I did notice one negative characteristic of this RPM gauge and that is the backlight. So the backlight is actually really useful. It's strong. It's pretty easy to see on the actual screen, but you know what? It kills the battery life on this thing. So it's powered by one single battery and in the couple of days that I've had it, it's already basically 33%, which is one of the three bars of down on battery life now it activates the backlight every single time you press the button you can't do anything to turn that feature off they do sell these without the backlight from what I understand one of my good friends and YouTube subscribers Gary from Foundry RC I've learned a lot from his channel he does run an uh, RPM gauge on some of his RC's and he told me that his battery life is already basically going on into the years time span so really useful I might have to return this and get another different one but they're basically all the same type of principle you just wrap it around the spot spark plug coil and you have a lifetime readout of your RPM. So I am in no way trying to, you know, propagandize this particular brand or model. I'm just showing you guys that, you know, this does provide some really useful information if you're curious about how fast you're going and to see the difference in RPM increase or decrease based on your adjustment of the high speed needle valve. I personally like that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I always approach this type of stuff from a scientific point of view and a comparison point of view. And I hope a lot of that stuff does come across in my videos. So there it is guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me just give you a couple updates. And you know what, let's check out some of this other RC stuff that I have going on. I don't only like fit scales, I like all types of RCs, gas, electric, nitro, um, micro scale, large scale. The only thing I'm not particularly that into are airplanes for some reason, you know why? Because I crash them all the time. By the way, remember when I said I wasn't going to be paying for any more RCs when I ordered the Primal MT monster truck? Now, let me show you guys here a screenshot I actually did already pay for. You could tell that my balance is zero. The invoice says zero. So it is all ordered. Let's wait for that. It's going to be a badass monster truck. I've never had anything this big. Now, hopefully it fits through the door. If not, we'll just take the wheels off and make it happen, right? But guys, I already got the cash back from that credit card offer I told you about. That was 500 bucks and in fact, I actually got a little bit more because the purchase I made also came with points. So you know what, I'm at $530 cash back. Now, yeah, that's how I paid for this Red Cat Racing right over here. So basically, I got this fifth scale right here for free just with a credit card offer. I mean, how could you pass up a deal that good? Uh, check out this new mailer I got from TD Bank. They're offering me 500 bucks to start off with if I set up a new direct deposit account and uh, you know, obviously open up a savings account. So 500 bucks, I mean, for basically doing nothing. Where are you gonna find 500 bucks on the floor like that? I don't think anywhere. I might have to seriously consider this offer. I already do use direct deposit at another bank that I did get a money for opening that up in the first place. But you know what? There's no cost in switching. Maybe that's what I will do. We'll see. You know, if I wanna get another fit scale, not pay for it, have the bank do it for me, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Check out the second body I have for my Red Cat Rampage. Uh, for some reason, the manufacturer sent me two bodies. I don't know why. One was already on the car when I unboxed it, as you saw. But then a couple days later, from the same exact purchase date, uh, a giant package came from UPS. I was afraid to actually open it. You know, uh, I don't even know what that was. But it was safe to open. There was no anthrax in it. It was just another Red Cat Rampage body. But...